Um, also heard really great things. You're going to have to really love him. Please hold on the stage. Steve Bottomley, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, Ed. I know what you guys are thinking. This guy kind of looks like Albert Einstein or one of the Bee Gees. Uh, I would rather it was one of the Bee Gees because I think I've been called Einstein about 20 times in the last couple of months. In fact, one guy came up to me in the bus and said, that's very Einstein. And I, I replied, uh, I'm sorry if my hairstyle offends you. Next time I have a cut, it's going to be just for you, though. Uh, on the topic of scientific people and things, I'm going to ask you a question. Have you ever been so scientifically enthused that you couldn't decide whether to go to the planetarium or the aquarium? Yeah. Actually, I'm just kidding about that. But uh, I am serious about this. Wouldn't it be fantastic if we could combine the planetarium and the aquarium into something maybe called the planet aquarium. And uh, my vision is this. We have the planetarium auditorium, and you've got fish tanks installed into the, to the bottom of the auditorium, with still the star show in the top, so you've still got the space in the top. And um, the show would, would, you have to bring back the laser lights, by the way. I mean, they stopped the laser lights. So what are they done? Those shows rock. Everyone loved them. You bring that those back. And my idea for a show is uh, aquatic sea life laser lights. So you play songs like uh, Barracuda, Prince's Garden, and the appropriate fish fish come out or the sea creatures come out at a certain at the appropriate time when they're playing the song. And then you finish off with the ultimate aquatic song, Rock Lobster. Yeah! And every sea creature that is mentioned in, in that comes out at the right time. Wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> um, yeah, I mentioned the laser lights. I didn't get quite uh, too much of a response on that. I think some, some of you might not even remember that. Uh, so I'm just wondering how many of you remember when popcorn was actually cheaper than the admission to get into a movie? <laughs> Yeah, uh, well now of course it's, uh, you're paying at least three times as much for the popcorn combo as you are to get into the movie. Unless of course you're crazy enough to pay for one of the D-Box seats, in which case you're paying, paying a good $60 for the evening on a cheap venture. You know what D-Box is, a seat that has a mind of its own? It's supposed to uh, react according to what's going on on the screen, but in reality it has nothing to do with what's going on, what's going on there. It just does whatever it wants. There could be a couple kissing there and it's going to react, go vibrate and no thanks, I'll have my own emotions if you don't mind. <laughs> See, there's yet another Planet of the Apes movie out this summer. I did some research on this. This is the eighth sequel since the original 68. Now don't get me wrong, the 68 original is a classic of classics, uh, you know, from lines like, get your stinking paws off me, Dan and Dirty Apes, to Damn you all to hell to Statue of Liberty in the background. That had a good story to it. My eyes were glued to the screen every minute of that show. But now, there's no story to these sequels. That, I mean, you might as well take your home movie camera, go down to the zoo and film the monkey cage for two and a half hours, <laughs> and release that as the next sequel. It's going to have about as much storyline as one's coming up. Ah. I mean, these guys are animals. These guys putting out these movies? Yeah, they're greedy animals. They have the hooves of swine and greedy <laughs> paws of apes. I mean, please, put your stinking paws off when you damn dirty apes. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tell you a bit about myself now. I'm a natural born Vancouver, right? I'm single, you know, still playing in the field. So I'm going to try out a few uh, pickup lines. I, I want you to tell me what you think of them. <laughs> yeah, the gamblers will relate to this one. Baby, I want to make like a casino attempt to give you a full dose of keto. <laughs> um, any Jewish friends will relate to this one? Baby, I want to touch your mezuzah before entering your humble palace. 
<laughs> uh, Scandinavian friends in the audience will relate to this one. Really? I want to make like a Viking and sail into your field. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go for Steve Bottomley, ladies and gentlemen, all right?